Hi, my name is Carlos, and today I will show you how to create a new Outlook profile. If you want to jump directly to the steps to create the profile, please use the spend time in the description. First, I will tell you why you may want to create a new Outlook profile. Microsoft Outlook is the software that lets you manage your emails, contacts, calendar, and tasks from your computer. Your Outlook profile is a critical part of Outlook. It contains your email accounts, data files, and information where all this is saved in your computer. Be aware that when you delete your Outlook profile, all your email data is removed from your device. So, when and why you want to create a new Outlook profile? I will give you three examples. First, your email account has been migrated to a different provider, and you will need to use different email settings. Then, instead of modifying your current profile, my recommendation is to create a new one. It will let you keep all your data intact in case you have any problem during the setup. You can always return to your old profile and get your data from there. The second example is when your Outlook stopped working properly. Sometimes, the only solution for this kind of issue is to create a new profile. My third example, you may want to separate your personal email account from your work or business email account. Then you can create a profile for each one and keep them in a separate Outlook profiles. So, let's now jump into our computer and i show you the steps. By the way, the steps that we will follow here will apply for most Outlook versions. 2010, 13, 16, 19, and also for Microsoft 365. We have now accessed our computer. First, make sure you have closed Outlook. Then we will need to open Windows Control Panel. We will search for it at the in the bottom left corner of your screen. We can type in Control Panel, and we will immediately find it here. We need to click Control Panel. It will open a new window. By default, you will find it organized by category. If we click on the upper right corner, we can change to large or small icons. Either of them will work. And then we need to find for mail Microsoft Outlook. Click on there. It will open a new window. Then click on Show Profiles. It will show you all the existing profiles. In this case, we have three profiles. And we are going to create a new one. So we need to click on Add, but before that, we need to make sure that we have selected this option, Front for a profile to be used. This will allow you to select what profile you want to use the next time you, that you open Outlook. Then we click on Add and enter the new profile name. You can select any name. We're going to use profile number four and click OK. At this point, you have two options to configure your email account. You can select a manual configuration or manual setup, or you can select automatic configuration. It depends on your provider. In this case, we're going to use a, a account, is a Microsoft 365 account, which configuration will work automatically. We enter our name, we enter our email address, and we enter our password. We click on Next, and we click on Finish. Now our profile has been created. We click on OK, and now we can open Outlook. We have it here, and we will see this pop-up window where we can select the profile that we want to open. In this case, we have created previous profiles, but we just created this one, the profile number four. We select it and click OK. So we have configured our email account using a new profile, and we just open Outlook using the profile that we created. If we want to open a previous profile that we created, we just close Outlook, we should open it again, and we can open any of the previous profiles by selecting it from here. It is actually the same email account that we set up in the profile number four. If you don't want to be asked for the profile, you can select Mail again within the control panel, then click on Show Profiles. Then you need to select the option Always Use This Profile. And then you need to select the profile that you always want to open. Then click op Apply and then OK. The next time that you open Outlook, you won't be asked 
for the profile. It will open just the profile that you selected by default. So this is how you create a new Outlook profile and manage your existing profiles. With this, we conclude our video today about Microsoft Outlook profiles. I hope this can be useful. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, just leave it below. If you want to see more videos like this one in the future, or want to find this one easily, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.